Hey, how are you? Well, I'm going to change the format of Tuesday's show a little bit and start to call it Tools and Tips. And basically, I just think it's a little more interesting than in Q&A. I am still going to answer questions on the project, but I'll start the video with a tip or some tool that I use on a regular basis. And the tip could be really anything, just something that I think saves time or money. Now, uh, the tool that I'm talking about today is a drill bit countersink. And there's a couple of different brands out there. I happen to like this one by DeWalt. I just feel like it stays sharp the longest. I've been using this one for well over a year. Uh, and it's starting to get dull and I've broken one of the blades on it. And so it's time to replace it. And I should also mention that there's a couple different sizes. I like the number eight for the work that I do. Uh, this seems to be the most diverse. So a few reasons for using a pre-drill and countersink pit. Uh, one is you're a lot less likely to split the wood. Two, the project just looks a lot neater when all of your holes are pre-drilled and countersunk. And also by countersinking the hole, you can then fill the hole with a wooden plug. For example, I'll try screwing this inch and 5 eighths sheetrock screw through this piece of poplar and let's see what happens. And that's generally what happens, the wood splits. Okay, so I'll unscrew it and flip the board around and pre-drill a hole. So by using a drill bit with countersink, not only did the wood not split, but you're also left with this nice clean hole that you can fill with a wooden plug. And so if you've ever seen me build a cabinet in the shop here, you've probably seen me use this drill bit with countersink. And that's just because it's really useful and I use it all the time. In fact, I would say this drill bit is in this drill about 90% of the time. So that's enough about this week's tool. Let's talk a little bit about last week's project. A few people wanted to know why I use a palm sander for finished sanding over an orbital sander. Well, one reason is I only have 80 grit sandpaper for this sander. Uh, I do like the hard bottom on this sander so it gets the surface nice and level. But then I like to move on to this palm sander which has a softer bottom. And I just feel it gives me a nicer finish. Really it's, it's a personal preference kind of a thing. And also I'm a bit of a creature of habit. I've been using this same model sander for about 20 years. And I think I've gone through about four of these sanders. It's also nice that you can use standard sandpaper for the sander. So I can get four pieces for this sander out of one standard sheet. A few people weren't convinced that the backsplash was a good idea. But I really think that you need a backsplash because you wouldn't want water rolling off of the top and behind the cabinet and making a mess. Uh, I also think that some people don't like the rounded over edge of the backsplash or the corner here. But I did that because I felt like there's so many hard angles on this cabinet that the rounded over edge on the backsplash might help to soften up the cabinet. And I also felt that it worked with the rounded over front of the sink. I only got one comment on this, but I'm sure a few people are curious as to why I would rip the four and a half inches off the front of the vanity top only to rejoin it. Well, the reason for that is this cut right here would be difficult to get with a circular saw or a jigsaw and so with this cross cut and then you would have to deal with the inside corner. So I felt it was just easier to rip the board off, get a nice clean cut with a compound miter saw and then simply rejoin the board with a few biscuits. And I guess that's about it really. I am going to take the top upstairs to, I kind of consider the art studio the clean studio because there's no sawdust there. Uh, and I'll start to put the polyurethane down. Uh, I probably won't have a video ready for Friday though because I've got some other work to do. And I think I'm gonna wait and maybe a week from Friday, I'll have the video or the vanity installed and, and have a video that sort of covers everything. So I hope you'll tune in and check that out. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.